Hello and welcome to this video review of Create. Now Create is a website based application that promises to use artificial intelligence to write online content for you or just any content. So here we are and I'm going to look at the price and what it offers and as usual I've got to scroll down through loads of stuff to get to the price. The price you will pay is essentially $35 with a 100% guarantee you get 50 credits and each article you write costs a credit. Now, what happens when you run out of those credits? You have to buy more and we're going to look at that in a moment. And it's niche based. What a surprise with these softwares. They always seem to be niche based. So I've just logged in. I've landed at my dashboard and this doesn't really mean much. However many articles are created, no one cares. You can buy credits and the cheapest is going to be $1.27 per article once you've used up your 50. There are other things you can buy, but I, I really wouldn't recommend them. So first thing we do is we go to articles. In fact, that's the only thing you can do really. That's all this is for articles. Now I've already written three articles. In fact, I didn't write them. I wrote a tiny bit and something else did it. So I'm going to open up this one. This this is my first article and I'm going to put these articles on my website, Big G Photo, so that you can just have a read of them. You put in a starting sentence. So I put, should you start a YouTube channel in 2021? And then you click a button and it does it for you. Now, the idea is that it's AI and it isn't copied text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and I'm going to search for this on Google. So it is coming up with searches, but that's because it's searching by the words. If I put quotes around everything, it tells me there's no results. So this hasn't just been taken from another website. I'm pretty satisfied it's been made up. So it's been made up by artificial intelligence. However, does it sound right? And is it of any use? So certainly I've made quite a big article here without really doing very much. It sort of says a lot of things and the things it says in this article, having re read it already, are related to YouTube and things, but it gives very generic advice. Yes, it's created an article. Yes, it's created a unique article. And yes, it's on the topic I've specified specified, but I suspect a human could write a better article. And there are some things as well that are a bit strange. Well, maybe not a bit strange. So it refers to having a moment. And I don't think that means like having a breakdown or throwing a strop like a child would. I think it means like on the up, doing well, that type of thing, going viral, maybe that type of thing, doing well when it says have a moment. So we can see YouTube's having a moment, popularity of our videos having a moment. So that's what it means. So it's got, I think it's used the wrong word for the context, but I understand what it's trying to say. So even if you think, oh, that's a strange word for it to use, you could go through and just replace that word. You could copy the text and do a search and replace if you don't like specific words. The window will tell you when and how your chosen channel will hit the peak of the popularity cycle. This window will tell you whether it has peaked. The window will tell you whether it will be having a moment or not. So it's definitely about YouTube videos, but it's not great, I would say. So this one I made is, I put in the starting title of, oh, it does tell you how many words, 366. What will be the video marketing trends in 2021? What video marketing trends will I see in 2021? I wrote it a bit differently. So I wrote the same thing out twice to see what would happen. So it has identified what I'm talking about. Here's a very important list of video trends to watch out for in 2021, social video. Now this 360 video, I think it's got it wrong again. 360 video is filmed on 360 camera and the viewer can rotate the camera and look at what they want on YouTube, for example. And it keeps going on about 360 video. So I don't think anyone's going to care about 360 testimonials or demos. So it mentions 360 video and it mentions here 360 video are used for demonstrations, product promotion, and conferences and events. 360 videos are used for marketing and advertising your company or your product. 360 videos can be used for different websites and mobile phones. The most important point is that 360 video don't need to be huge, but need to have very positive impact on the audience. This can be achieved by giving information about the products. 
this is the bit I'm looking for. 360 video can be done on a mobile phone or a DSLR camera. So it may be it's talking about 360 video that I'm not talking about. So 360 video for me means once the video is made, you can move around and you can look or in all directions in a 360 environment. That's not what it's talking about. So it's got that wrong, but it has again created content it has written loads and loads of words and it does sort of make sense i suppose but it's got the context wrong and that's not unsurprising with ai stuff this one is different i changed tack rather than asking a question i wrote a statement the best summer holiday with my children was when we went to france on the ferry and here it has got things right but <laughs> but it tells a story and of course because it's been made up the story isn't true. So it does talk about going to France. It talks about taking our camper van and staying places. I don't know whether that's a real region. I'm going to search for that. OK, so that is in France. So it's got that right. The next day we continued on our way to the mountain village. By this time, it's already dark. We drove around in our vehicle a bit and then headed towards the river. So it's a very competent piece of story. It fits together. You know, it's factually accurate. I wouldn't be able to tell whether a human wrote this or not. There's nothing that's a giveaway here. So this has been the best one so far. But unfortunately, it's not true because it never happened. So I click on this plus. And in the package I've got, I can have standard or freestyle. Now standard is where you put in a sentence or two and it bases it off that. Freestyle is just based off the niche. So you're better off with standard. Pick a niche, like all these things, they're niche based. Online marketing, there isn't a niche for photography and video editing and videography, which is what I do. So online marketing is the closest and probably video marketing is the closest here. I haven't got the package that does it in different languages. If you do it in different languages, interestingly, your starting prompt has to be in English. I can't generate multiple articles because I don't have that package. I'm not going to bother saving it to a folder. So I'm going to type something in, um, which is the best video format for Instagram. And so what you do is you click start and it just goes and builds it. So it takes about a minute to a minute and a half. I said I'm not going to bother putting them in folders because you can filter by your niche anyway. So these are the three niches I've already used. So if I click video marketing, I've done two in video marketing already. If I select them, I can delete, I can download them or I can move them to another folder. So you can organize them. I mean, if you're making loads and loads and loads, you're gonna organize them. While that's writing, we're just gonna have a look at that upgrade to get more niches. So here we go, let's have a look at more niches. So again, I'm gonna scroll down, look at all these niches, love, bath and shower. Look at all these niches. Again, there's no photography. Plus we get all these other niches. So let's just keep scrolling down. It's a dollar to get all these niches. Ah, no, it's not. Because you pay a dollar and then you pay $47 a month. $47 a month. That's ridiculously expensive. While I was away, it's made my video. Here's what I put in. You'll find the following video formats accepted well on Instagram. Now, unfortunately, it's duplicated MP4 there, MP4. Yeah, there's quite a lot of duplication, so you'd have to cut that out. So we've seen the accepted format. So what's the best? Let's have a look at how they perform. So it gives you a rundown of each file format, although it's only done a certain amount. And then it tells you there is no ideal file format. You wouldn't use AVI. You definitely wouldn't use AVI. To be honest, MP4 is going to be the best file format for Instagram. So again, it's written an article. It's got confused because it's repeated things. And I s imagine that's interesting. So that's lowercase, that's uppercase. There's no definitive pattern with it repeating things, but it, it's repeated things. It has answered the question. 
but it's got it wrong. So it has built an article. Um, I'm not denying that. It has put in some useful things. It has given a structure. It's not something you would go and publish straight away. So now it's time for conclusions. I think this is expensive. It costs $35 and I got 50 articles. But once those 50 articles run out, once those credits run out, I have to buy more. And the cheapest is $1.27 per article. For that money, I think I'd probably save my money and just write them myself. I could maybe get someone to write them on Fiverr for $5 an article. I'd be very annoyed if I gave someone $5 an article and they went and used this software to write it, which is a distinct possibility. So those are my thoughts on this piece of software. Don't forget, I'm going to put all these articles in my website so that you can read them rather than looking within the video. Thank you. Have a great day and let me know what you think of this software. Thanks. Goodbye.